The Flash Poverty Survey was initiated by Glasgow Homelessness Network and was supported by Getting It Right for Every Community. This survey fed into a Glasgow city-wide report, the results for the local responses were analysed. We collected 100 responses. What people shared however, is similar to what many are sharing each day with services as they find it more difficult to manage. Many people who completed the surveys are in employment. The following slides reflect what people had to say and what they want others to understand. What does it mean to be poor? Not enough money to live. No one reliable to talk to. No opportunity to learn. No hope for the future. A lack of choices. Lack of affordable childcare. So what that means is that the number of people who are touched by poverty over a period of years, let's say four years, is much, much bigger than the proportion of people who are found to be poor in any given time. So for example, in Britain, the proportion of people who are counted as poor on the official definition is around 18 to 20 percent. But if you widen the window out to four years, you get up to a number of around a third. So the perspective about the proportion of people who are touched by poverty is you know, rather different from the, the one-year picture. Not enough food to eat. Not enough fuel to stay warm. Not having a secure place to live. Poor health. Not enough access to health care. What do you want others to understand? Most people don't have enough money to live on. I've worked all my days and shouldn't have to choose between food and heat. I have four kids. My husband works I don't, but I couldn't manage a job on top of the kids in the house. I suffer from depression and that I am currently homeless and don't have enough money to live on. I didn't choose to be in the situation I am in. There is nothing I can do to control it, it is what it is. People who rely on benefits are not scroungers. I have my own health issues and am a carer for my father. What can I do to support the change? Volunteer for, getting it right for every community. Become a member of the Youth Community Council. Have group discussions on helping people. More awareness of helping each other. Getting to know the community. Plan to make clothes from spare fabric. Give it away to people who need it labour market are all heavily impacting low-income families. The government's austerity measures and financial policies, which it says it must implement in order to reduce the UK's massive budget deficit, have served to increase the financial disparity between the rich and the poor in Britain. Since March 2009, the UK government through the Bank of England has printed £375 billion of new money to help prop up the economy. That's helped the top 10% get richer by raising the value of shares and bonds. But for the 50% of UK households who have no financial assets and who arguably need that help the most, there's been no financial gain.